Hi, this is Teacher Jennifer from U.S. Citizenship Podcast. Today I'm here with my publisher, Jeannie Sloan. Jeannie Sloan is the publisher at eslpublishing.com, which just published my new book, U.S. Citizenship Boot Camp. And she's also the author of She Built Ships in World War II. Today we're going to talk a little bit about each one of our books. Let's go on and do a quick demonstration about some of the mini practice dialogues that I have in U.S. Citizenship Boot Camp. Interview eight 40 questions and eight civics questions. Uh, we're going to practice two questions. The first one is going to be about financial support. The second one is going to be about work of national importance under civilian direction. I'm going to read the question, how do you financially support yourself? I will repeat this question several times. The reason why I'm doing this is because in an ESL class or any class, you're going to have different people have different ways financial support comes up. How do you financially support yourself? I am a welder. I work at the Richmond Shipyards. How do you financially support yourself? I go to school at Richmond High School. How do you financially support yourself? My spouse works in the Navy. How do you financially support yourself? My family supports me. How do you financially support yourself? I am retired. I get a pension from Kaiser. How do you financially support yourself? I am retired. I get a Social Security check. How do you financially support yourself? I am disabled. I get a Social Security check. How do you financially support yourself? I am unemployed. I get an unemployment check. So after pair practice with this and you would mix up the pairs, then you would, you would move on to the civics question. What is freedom of religion? Freedom of religion is when you can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Good. Within uh, interview eight, there's a couple other uh, sections that people would practice. They would talk about marital status, spouse or ex-spouse, children, the Constitution and the U.S. form of government, the oath of allegiance, bearing arms, and non-combatant. But now we're getting to practice dialogue H, work of national importance. If the law requires it, are you willing to do work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I am. Give an example of work of national importance under civilian direction. For example, help the Red Cross in an emergency like a flood or earthquake or do computer programming for national security projects. So what was the work of national importance under civilian direction from she built ships in World War II? It was building ships so the ships could be used in combat to win the war. Which war are we talking about again? World War II. Okay. What is one promise you make when you become a U.S. citizen? To serve or do important work for the nation if needed. Would you like to make any further comments about work of national importance? There were many jobs that women did of national importance and they had to drive uh, buses that they had never done before. They drove taxi cabs that they never did because all the men were gone in the service fighting the war, and the other women had to be able to get to work. There was factory work of building guns, building bombs, riveting. There were many, many, many jobs that the women did in order to win the war, and it was of national importance. They gladly would say yes if they were asked to work an additional shift or work seven days a week. Well, with all this work outside of the home, who took care of their families? 
Kaiser, Henry Kaiser. An immigrant. (laughs) Yes, he was an immigrant. He built the first daycare center in Richmond, California, and it served the working women. It ran 24 hours a day. It provided medical care and immunizations for the children. It provided all meals for the children, night care, and even when women got off their shift, they could get in line and receive food to bring home to eat with their children when they picked them up. So it sounds like Henry Kaiser was not only concerned about the war effort and his workers, but the workers' family life. So it seemed like everybody was working together. Then had housing built. Wow. Let's have a short discussion about how we can order U.S. Citizenship Boot Camp or She Built Ships in World War II. The simplest way would be to go to the ESL Publishing website. On the website, you'll see Contact Us. Under the Contact Us, please fill in your information And if you want um, U.S. Citizenship Boot Camp, write in the box, free shipping podcast. Ooh. Okay. If you are a citizenship teacher, write the name and address of your school, and ESL Publishing will mail you a free complimentary copy. Wow, that's really, really great. That's so generous. This way you can look over the book and decide if this is something that would really help your students. Thank you so much for this interview. Yes, and thank you, Jennifer. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye.